All right, G5 Higher Purpose Gaming, episode 13. This is the conclusion, guys. I'm your host, Hotel Charlie Hill. We just finished playing a crazy Black Ops 3 custom zombies map called Super Mario 64. Or maybe it was just Mario 64. Anyways, it took me right back to being a little kid playing Nintendo 64 and uh, hating those camera angles because they always switch at the worst time and you end up running off a platform or something or getting running into the boo and the stupid haunted house. No, I'm just joking. But now we got a uh, another one for you guys. It's called, oh gosh, what is it called? I got to try and pronounce it. Teotihuacan. Teotihuacan. Juan. Teotihuacan. And it is, uh, I guess, based off a Mexican archaeologi archaeological complex northeast of Mexico City. Obviously pagan. Probably a place they did a lot of human sacrifices, which God forbid. And uh, that's just cra that's crazy stuff. So this will be interesting, guys. And we're going to uh, start that up right now. Yeah. So after tonight's stream, guys, I'm going to do my darndest, get on some forums, and really, really get out there. Oh, I should have should have read the uh, the mission objectives and stuff. But I'm going to do my best to get out there and find out how to do my get my PC chat streaming going as well as my Xbox and PS4 chat streaming going because I want to be able to play with you guys. I want to be able to get in together, get in the teamwork stuff going on. It's so fun. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, there's a keeper! D disappeared. Well, this is one nice looking map. Wow. It is amazing. How nice player made, player -made maps can get. <coughs> I'm guessing these are the map models ported over from Black Ops 3 Zombie Chronicles Shangri-La. Maybe not. Maybe these are all brand spanking new, made by some guy with a lot of time on his hand and a lot of talent. What is this? It looks important. It's shiny. Can you check out Elijah Fells later or now? Does not matter. What's Elijah Fells? Or did you... Or did you just come to my stream channel to promote yourself? If that's the case, um, that's pretty tacky, guy. But uh, I do wish you the best. Hope it all goes well for you. Thank you, Jacob. Have a great night. What is this? Look at that, guys. That is so crazy. Okay, it looks like birds. It's reminiscent to me of the Ark of the Covenant. God commands the Israelites to make this Ark, and upon it, he's got these angels. And I think they're bowed, and their wings uh, reach towards each other. History, if you come to this place for knowledge, be warned the dark force in this place shall never be unleashed. Good. I don't want it unleashed. Um, but yeah. They were bowed over and their wings were touching and that was the what was called the uh the uh oh, the glory seat where the spirit of the lord apparently dwelled and what is this rk5 sure looks nice youtube that streams a youtuber that streams not me so you go into other people's streams on behalf of someone else and tell other people, hey, go watch this guy. That's even tackier. That's a strange. Needed headshots. 60 needed explosive kills. Anybody watching me stream right now, please don't ever go in anyone's chat and say, or anyone streaming and say, hey, hey, go watch. Go watch G5 Power Purpose Gaming. And, you know, and that's even understanding that Higher Purpose Gaming is gaming with a higher purpose, which should be watched at least once. But uh, yeah, that's, that ain't cool. That ain't nice to do to people.
But Jacob, like I said, man, I totally forgive you. Jay, welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a great night. Hope we can get some awesome zombie action going on for you. I got to go back and look at the challenges I've got going on for this map. Oh, I love this song. This is a song from Zetsubo Nishima. Spectre? <gasps> they got a Spectre? Oh, cool. I want to buy it just because I love the Spectre. Even though it sucked and had no ammo. Our civilization was one of the greatest. Our cities were the richest in the whole ancient world. Yeah, so? What is, what is wealth going to do for you? You can't... Uh, what is the profit of man to gain the whole world but lose his own soul? Hmm? What is the profit of so uh, society or civilization gain the whole world but lose their souls? Headshots, 60. Explosive kills, 40. Melees, 46. Oh boy, oh boy. That's going to be tough. And then this thing opens up and I go up to it. Nice. Let's see if I can get that Spectre. Elijah fails, eh? I'll go check that out later, maybe. I probably don't have time. Ding, 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 ding. Where's the bad guy? That's it, 1250, buying a Spectre. Wow, that looks good. All right. Is this, is, I wonder if this is ported over from the other games or if they remade it for Zombie Chronicles because honestly, I haven't even downloaded that yet. Time to get some headshots. Oh, I should be getting my knife kills, actually. There you go. There you go. Milk some points here. Sixteen rounds in the legs at... Round two. Here we go. And then a knife kill. Maximizing points. Ooh, I finished around. Didn't mean to do that. 1750. By Jove. 1250. Okay, well, let's. Close that. Dark in here, eh, guys? Hopefully, it's not too dark. Oh, hopefully, what you're seeing in the stream isn't too dark. HVK, nice. No, uh, no points. Oh, well, golly. Close. What's up, Ben and Nilton Bianchi? Welcome to the stream, guys. Hope you're having a great day. That was uh, too insane. Too insane. What is this? Not available. What is this? Power must be turned on. The one creepy map. What creeps me out is, I mean, if Treyarch, okay, if Treyarch, a, oh, a trencher, awesome. If Treyarch, who's like a, you know, well-established, oh, the BOS, don't even know what it is. 
I want it though. It's two grand. Um, a well-established like video game company developer is gonna like blatantly put satanic stuff in their maps, and who knows? Maybe even some of them get together at their house, or <laughs> maybe even in an office room, a boardroom, and pray and offer their game up to the devil, you know, in return for favor, blessing. But <laughs> well, guys and girls, don't, um, if you see a ledge, okay, and the temptation overcomes you to just jump off that ledge, don't, because in a game like Zombies, it's probably lead to your demise. Right while I was, right while I was unveiling the reality of the enemy and his, uh, and his, um, influence on Treyarch. Always happens like that. All right, guys, hold on. I'm going to try and start that one again. Actually, you know what, guys? It is 8.59. Let's, let's call her a night. I want to have enough time to, um, to get on, get on some forums and get that stuff over the PC chat stream, Xbox chat stream and stuff. Sorry that this has been a short episode, but the best is yet to come. And uh, once I've got my my chats all figured out, guys, it's going to be awesome. We're going to be able to get some real awesome interaction going on. But for now, guys, we are going to go do the best part. Oops. Best part of the day, guys. Best part of every episode. I mean it. Word of the day. Word of the day is where it's at. Uh... Other the other night there did not have a very good night of gaming. Um pooped the bed quite a bit. And I honestly, honestly, still went away feeling good because the word of the day was just so great. That is the best part. And as you guys hang out, follow along, you're gonna see for yourself just how true and how good the word of the day is. And um yeah, it's gonna be Oh, that's bright. <laughs> it's going to be better and better and better. You're going to learn more and more truth that it's just going to be so good for your life. If you, if you let it, the word and the truth take hold, you guys are welcome to go back to, uh, you guys are welcome to go back to all my old episodes, uh, old, like I've only been doing this for like two and a half weeks, three weeks now almost. Um, but yeah, on my YouTube channel, um, I uh, I upload all of my recordings in 1080p by 60 uh, frames per second. So super good quality if you want to watch the games. But more importantly than that, find the ones that are conclusions or or some of the older ones that are just really long. Go to the very end. You'll see the word of the day. So without further ado, I started a series here, guys, that talks about the truth, who God is, because you need to know God to have eternal life. And you need to know God to know what your personal higher purpose is in this life. Because who other than God who made you will know what he made you for, right? You can spend this whole life, okay, uh, aside from eternal life, you can spend this whole mortal life basically stabbing in the dark, trying to figure out why you're here. And you might come up with a lot of reasons that you think you're here, and you'll do them, you know, you'll try and start businesses, you'll try and feed starving kids, you'll build a homeless shelter, whatever. And it might feel pretty good, but it will never compare with what he had in plan. He had in store for you. So we're talking, we're talking about God's complete and absolute control over everything. Uh, we start off by talking about prophecy and the reason why he can fulfill prophecies because he's in control. And we're going to continue on. We're looking at Genesis chapter three, Verse 21, okay, it says here, And the Lord God made for Adam and for his wife garments of skins and clothed them. Genesis chapter 3, verse 21, And the Lord God made for Adam and for his wife garments of skin and clothed them. So, um, Perhaps at some point in your life, someone has challenged the whole idea of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. 
maybe they've said it's a myth. Maybe they've said it's just some sort of poetic um, allegory that's in the Bible. Uh, maybe they've said that it couldn't have happened based on what we know now about evolutionary theory, which is purported as fact. Professor Oldman, this is for you. Um, yeah, but the reality is, guys, Adam and Eve really existed. Now, whether you want to believe they really were the first man and wife or if they evolved from um, some sort of Neolithic uh, human form, whatever. Point is, they sinned, okay, and they separated themselves from God who's holy and is separated and set apart from sin. And they were naked, and they knew they were naked. God did not leave them in their nakedness. He did not He did not leave them in their lostness. Like a good and loving father, he sought out his children whom he created and he went to them. And notice Adam and Eve had already made for themselves coverings out of leaves, and fig leaves, I believe. And um, this wasn't enough for God. He didn't want them to be able to cover themselves. He wanted to cover them. So he sacrificed, well, he gave them, what does it say here? Let's look at the text. This is how you always want to uh, exposit or uh, figure out what's, what God is saying in his word. It's by looking at the text really closely. And thankfully, our, our modern translators, I read the English Standard Version. It was uh, created back in, I think, the late 90s, early 2000s. And it's a very good translation. And these guys go to their most, uh, to the most, um, what would be the word, um, carefully researched and uh, carefully researched and dependable, reliable texts that we have uh, from ancient scripture. And they translate the Hebrew or the Greek or the Aramaic or whatever. And they do an excellent job to capture the meaning. So here we have. It says, and the Lord God made for Adam and for his wife garments of skins and clothed them. Okay, so it does not say where those skins came from, guys, but where do animal skins come from for clothes? They come from animals, and 10 times out of 10, the animal does not survive in order to give up his pelt to a person to wear his clothes. So right at the very get-go, we see that God establishes the need for sacrifice, the need for shedding of blood to cover the sin and the shame of his, of his children, of his chosen people. And we're going to learn more about that as we keep going on. But that is so cool that God does that right from the get-go. He establishes something and he sets up a pattern that he fulfills later on in Jesus Christ. Oops, I gave away too much, but that's okay, guys. The word of the day is um, that God clothed children who had strayed from him, and he covered them, and uh, they turned back to him. And uh, I hope this blesses you guys. I hope you join the G5 Higher Purpose Gaming Community. It is a gaming community with a higher purpose. That purpose, of course, is to help people know who God is and to help them uh, establish and understand who, what their purpose is in this life by getting to know God themselves and then sharing that with other people. And um, you can join the community at our Facebook page, fb.me slash g5hpg. And um, yeah, guys, hopefully it just keeps growing and more people are, uh, are touched by the word because the word and the truth is what sets free. All right, guys. I'll be on again Saturday night as I stream. I don't know. My schedule's on the Facebook page. God bless you guys. Peace.